Please, I hope you're ready for this. I wasn't. But let me say some things up front before we get into the Excel. Last week, I went to an online meetup. Ilgar started a meetup group out of Azerbaijan. Last week, his guest was Faraz Sheikh from Excel Exciting. You got to check him out. I got up really early in the morning to do this and Faraz showed some cool stuff. And this thing that I'm going to show you, it hit me so hard. Lord, I had to go get some ice cream afterward to, to cool myself down. Ilgar and Faraz, I want my $8 back for that ice cream because this is you all's fault. Also want to make the point that no matter how much we use Excel or anything else and might be considered experts, there's always something, even something basic that can blow our minds. I'm going to show you what Faraz showed us. And then we're going to have some meditation time so that you can think about how you might use this. And then I'm going to hit you with an example. Here's our data. We've got items. We've got, say, item 4551648. There are five 16 ounce versions in stock. Put this into a table. Format as table. Let's grab this blue. OK. And you know me. Get rid of these damn filter buttons. Now here is the Faraz trick. Equals and then grab these headers. Enter. Now see that blue line? That means that's in a dynamic array. And then we go up to the formula bar and then wrap this in transpose. Open parentheses, close parentheses, enter. Now think about that. How might you use that? So let's have a little bit of a meditation. Get comfortable in your chair. Your feet firmly on the floor. Breathe in, exhale, exhale, anxiety. Breathe in, imagination, exhale, doubt. Look at the data. How might you use this? Think about it. And when the meditation time is over, I'm going to give you a countdown. And then we'll get into the example. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the spreadsheet and let's get in to an example. Here is our data. Cursor inside the data set. Format it as a table. Grab this purple. OK. Get rid of the filter buttons. Next. I'm going to type student. Now it's going to get juicy. Equals these headers. Enter. Now I'm going to transpose. Open parentheses. Close parentheses. Enter. Now I'm going to filter. Let's go back here. I'm going to go inside the transpose. Filter. 
open parentheses, we're going to filter this array. We've got to stay inside the transpose, comma, include where the headers do not equal exam. Close the double quotes, close parentheses, enter. Beautiful. Now, go here. Data. Data validation. List equals the cell B13, and I need the hashtag so that the list always includes this full array. Okay. Look at this. We got Keith. Now I'm going to use XLOOKUP equals XLOOKUP to get Keith's highest score. Look up what? Look up Keith and F4 to have the absolute cell reference, comma, the lookup array. The lookup array is here. All of the headers, comma, the return array. There we go. Close the X lookup. Enter. Look at that. We've got all of Keith's scores. We need to go back here. Now we've got to do max. Open parentheses. Go to the end. Close parentheses. Enter. Ooh. All right. Drag this down. Now I'm going to change this to min. Enter. Drag this down. Average. Enter. My, my, my. Now let's look at somebody else. Let's look at Ty and Nasima. Wow. We ain't done. There is more data. Here we go. Slide this in. Oh, look at that. The table absorbed it. Are these people in the drop down list? There is Kit. Wow. And just one more thing, and we're going to be done. Go back to the source of our drop down list. Here we go, right here because this list is getting long and it could be hard to find people. What we gonna do? Sort, open parentheses, go to the end, close parentheses, enter. Everybody is in order. Let's go to the drop down list. Everybody is in order and let's look at Calvin. There we go. Now, wasn't that fantastic? I'm so thankful to Ilgar and Faraz for that morning, but I want my $8 for that ice cream.